This is not fair. You are no. coming to our family without our consent. David, this David. is not my home. This is not my home. I'm going. You better go outside I'm or going. I call the police. No, I'm going. I'm okay, going. go outside. Thank you. This is not fair. Thank you. you come all along just to distract our privacy. And you all know people always come here to distract our privacy and stuff. Okay. Did you tell us accordingly you are no, coming? I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Okay. I respect, I respect okay. The, I okay. The home. Okay, you just go. Okay. This is not fair at all. This is not fair at all. Uh -uh. Usikaya apa. Get out of our compound. You can't come to our home to disrupt our privacy. Okay, get out. So what's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, David Jr. here. I'm sorry for that clip, if you got offended, if you felt offended, I'm sorry but that's the truth, that's the reality of the matter. Anyway, welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm coming live and clear from home in my village located at the border between Kenya and Tanzania. So I'm inside this forest right here. This is how it is. This is our family property in which I came to inspect. Especially right now, I'm, I'm building my house. I just came to see like uh, the kind of trees they want to help me to construct my house. Anyway, on today's video, it's sad. It's emotional, as the title suggests. So, yesterday, crazy things happened at our compound. You guys have been warning us about uh, visitors coming from our, our home and we're inviting them, we are so kind to them, but we never listened. Anyway, once beaten, twice shy. So enjoy the video and let me get to know what you think about this video on the comment section below. And thank you all for the love and support, I really appreciate. Thank you for supporting Devi. Man, I'm just an ordinary kid trying to work hard and uh, just to prepare for the future and also helping my family like we're chasing poverty like never before anyway guys we've been receiving visitors on a daily basis from abroad i mean outside kenya uh within kenya and uh, our family has been so kind it's evident on our videos but you people you've been always on our side like Davy why are you like um, welcoming visitors day by day in your home but we never listen but because of our kind heart especially my mom oh guys sorry okay sorry for that technical hitch because my battery is going low I don't know so because of uh, the kind heart of my mom, she has been always welcoming visitors. You know that, guys, in African traditional society or culture, it's good to welcome visitors, especially when visitors come, the locals benefit. When visitors come, we cook good food, so the locals, like we the kids, we always benefit from that food. That has always been the tradition. So my mom right now, she's not at home, you know, my mom, she's a teacher by profession. She has been teaching for over 30 years and we thank God for her service to humanity, you know. So most of, of the time, I'm just alone and my dad, you know, that's how it is. Oh, so these are sad story, guys. Actually, it's so sad and... Uh, I thank God we're learning, we're learning, we're learning day by day. So yesterday we received a visitor. Okay, let me explain this. So we've been receiving visitors day by day on a daily basis. And um, we've been encountering crazy situations, setups and everything. Guys, as you understand, uh, uh, I don't know, a month ago or a few weeks ago, I got arrested. Why? Because of the visitors that we are receiving at our home, you know. 
so it was this crazy incident i'm explaining this because of the new subscribers because i do understand every single day oh let me pass here oh. okay i'm explaining this because every single day we got new members on our youtube channel a few weeks ago i got arrested because it was a total setup i was arrested by the police officer and uh, i spent some days huh in the jail or cell i don't know ah, cell not jail because uh there were some kids who came at our home and uh they brought some flowers and we decided to buy them because of the love of the environment that i have i decided to buy flowers and little did i know the flowers were were not uh were not genuine i mean they were stolen flowers so i bought them and the kids told me uh we've been sent from school because i have sympathy for humanity and i decided man i have money let me promote these kids in a good way i, I ended up to jail so it was a lesson learned in a hard way and uh, i remember i spent more than 30,000 Kenyan shilling. That is roughly closely to 300 USD. That's a lot, a lot of money here in Kenya. For me to be released, you know, it was a cash bail. <laughs> Guys, I'm inside our forest. Don't mind. This is how it is. So I paid the amount and I thank God I had that money. Imagine if I couldn't have anything, it could be a crazy situation. So I learned from that story, like not all that glitters is gold, but we kept receiving visitors and you people, you really want us. Even it is evident on our videos, I mean my videos, um, I saw another comment on my recent video. It was saying like, this David Jr. is too much. He's receiving visitors day by day when his mom is not around. Actually, that hit me hard. It hit different. Hey, I said, okay, okay, I have to accept, guys. But from now, henceforth, for sure, our home is out of bounds. In a good way, though. So I want to be explaining the incident that happened yesterday. Hey, that one was very crazy. And the good thing I captured on camera, you know. So there is this visitor... I mean, actually he's not a visitor anymore, he's a stranger because he had no good intentions in our family, you know. Um, this is my own uh, perspective, my own opinion. I don't know, I don't, I don't want to be judgmental to people out there. But how, how he carried himself, it was totally different. It was totally strange because... He stayed at our compound up to late evening, you know? Who does that? Who does that? And he said he came all away, all along from Mombasa. Mombasa is one of the cities that we have here in Kenya. It's the third, uh, not third, it's the second largest city that we have after Nairobi, the capital. So from Mombasa to our home, it's more than... 20 hours by bus you can imagine you know 20 hours by bus from mombasa to our village here so this person i came from the hospital actually that being said guys i'm not feeling okay actually i'm under medication for the last two days i've not been feeling okay you know so i came from the hospital and uh, i found this visitor sitting inside our living room and I was so shocked kind of shocked very 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 shocked and uh, he was kind of so nice to me you know that fake smile <laughs> at times human beings are so different but for me I didn't feel his vibe because you know how you can tell even how people carry themselves I know you are watching this but it is what it is so I said hello to him and I told him, for me, I'm not feeling okay, which is the reality. I'm not feeling well. And uh, I just said hello, but he insisted he want to talk to me, you know. 
but uh, I didn't listen to him. I went straight to my room and I slept, you know, because I wasn't feeling unwell. I wasn't feeling well. So when I woke up, it was around um, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Kenyan time. Yesterday, guys, this is the incident of yesterday. Uh, it will only depend the time you are watching this video, but it happened on Wednesday, you know. So I'm recording this video on a Thursday. So I woke up, I went uh, just to refresh because uh, I'm from sleeping now. Um, I just want to refresh and take my medicine because I mean the tablets. So I found this uh, visitor outside our... Uh, so he moved from uh, the living room, now he's outside. We have a bench at our home where visitors always come. And we attend to them, and um, we sort things out. So I found him outside. So when, I, uh, no, before that, I had him calling my dad, like, dad, 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 dad. And uh, unfortunately, my dad wasn't around because my dad, he's a busy person. He was a busy, busy person. He takes care of our animals. He has to ensure everything runs in a good way so my dad he's a busy busy person so i i smelt a rat i knew not uh i knew everything wasn't okay because when somebody calls you calls you wants to assure if these people are they here so that i can do anything that i feel like so i woke up and i found him outside he has his bag, you know. I don't know what he carried inside his bag. Um, it was inside our our house, but that's how it was. So I decided to tell him, what's up, what's up? Because it's so late and you are here. What's up? And I asked him, you came all along from, the, from Mombasa, which is... Uh, 20 more than 20 hours by bus, but you didn't inform that. But he couldn't explain himself further, so I felt like this is not a genuine person. And I told him, which is evident from the clip that I, I recorded. Okay. There's people are taking shower, I don't want to record them. So we have a river here. Sorry for the interruption. We have a river here. So I don't want to film people taking shower. Let me move over this place. So we collect sand here for building. You see, guys, these are sand for building. It's very cheap when you harvest directly from the river here. I don't know where I should, where I should pass because at the far end right there, people are taking shower. Okay. okay. I have to be very careful so that I cannot film people taking shower here. Okay, let me pass, guys. As we continue narrating this crazy, crazy incident. Okay. See, guys. See? Okay. Let me pass you. So we have water, we just blessed, we have water here. Uh, so I want to go to the far end right there, guys. We're crossing this river. We're crossing this river right here. Though it's not flooded as usual, when it rains heavily, this river it is always full to the brim. This river right here. Okay, let's cross to the far end right here. <laughs> Just narrow roads here. Ah, uh, this is so sad, guys. Ah, oh. okay. I want to pass to go the far end right there, guys. Ah, okay. 
Molly's a strong boy. Huh? So I'm used to this kind of life. These are uh, village life. There are maidens, you know. My proud village boy. So was born and raised here, you know. I'm not a city boy. <laughs> Yeah, we are at my brother's premises right here. Uh -huh. Let's do this. Okay, guys, let's keep the story rolling. And uh, this is not fake. This is true story, guys, that happened in real life, you know. I'm just sharing with you so that you can. And also, it is a life lesson learned in a hard way you know yeah guys for me now i'm very vigilant to the people that i will be interacting with because once beaten twice shy and not all that glitters is gold uh -huh. in this life you have to be very very careful with the people that we are interacting with Right there. They are making some noise. So where was I? I reaching this story. So this person was calling my dad several times. Maybe so that uh, he can prepare himself psychologically. This is my, my opinion. I don't know why he was calling my dad. Uh, this is just my own opinion. Maybe to prepare himself psychologically so that he can do what he wanted because if you have good intentions guys you can't you can't stay to people's uh, premises until late 6 p.m onwards that was really really strange and uh, you haven't been invited to that place it is uh, our first time to meet him he never even wrote to us like, hey, we're coming, Devi. Guys, we always receive visitors on our daily basis, you know, because we're just generous to people. Imagine you're traveling from far and uh, you arrive at our village and you get rejected. It doesn't sound good. So most of the time we always receive visitors with good hands, you know, so this person, I decided uh, to ask him, what's up, what's up? And uh, he was a gentleman. He's not a, maybe a boy or a kid. He's, he's a grown-up person, you know? So I told him, or I asked him, are you fair enough? Are you fair enough? Are you doing justice to our family? Because this is not my house. This is my parents' home, you know? all the burden it's me who i'm carrying because i'm a content creator and most of the people who come to visit us they say i'm a content creator uh i want you to help us baby to get a thousand subscribers kindly help us um to grow our brands well, we always do that but most of them always turn uh uh, after a few or uh, some time, we are enemies with them. I don't know why. And this is the big question that I always ask myself, you know. Like for me, as Davy, most of my vlogs I always create from my surrounding. I always take advantage of my surrounding, not to go to other people's homes or disturb them. I always take advantage of my surrounding here. Yeah? just being my own star, you know? So it's not a must you travel all along from as far kilometers to our village just to meet us and create content. My advice to content creators, you can take advantage of us, of your surrounding. You can show people how to burn charcoal, like at the far end right there. We're burning charcoal right there. You can show people uh, the, the life, the living standards, uh, how people work there, uh, the type of food that we grow. Like here, we grow corn, we grow, I mean, the maize, 
and this is very essential for production of ugali which is the stable food you know so and also being creative it goes a long way so taking advantage of the surrounding it means a lot because if people really value our content they will watch you always you know so guys our home is officially out of balance in a good way and this is not pride this is not like uh, something fishy in a good way imagine somebody coming from even not somebody many many people even right now even right now uh, i left home because somebody gave me a call like she's coming and i wonder like what's up you know especially the ladies man at times it's very diminishing you know even uh, some people can fake crazy stories about me it's crazy so i have to protect my energy at the same time i have to be myself it's rather i be loved to whom i am rather than to be loved for whom i'm not you know yeah guys and uh, it's nothing to do with pride here. I'm just speaking my mind and uh, I have to guide the privacy of our home, especially right now. I'm just alone at our home, you know. My, my siblings are not around, so it's just Davy who is at home. Yeah, this is my uncle's uh, residence. You know, it looks good, you people, you made it possible. Thank you, I'm forever grateful. We are rebuilding our village. This is how it looks like. And Komo, big shout out to you. Go kindly check him out. Actually, that being said, huh? I remember a video that my uncle just released recently. He was complaining about people coming to his home without his consent, which is so bad, guys. Imagine people just uh, pulling up to your Sorry for that noise. Let the truck pass. Yeah, it has some stones. That tells you we're building the village, huh? We're building the village. We're changing the narrative of our village, which is a good thing. Everybody is building, and I'm happy for all the content creators who we inspired here. They are changing their lives, they are changing their family. Like, kind of uh, literary, everybody is building. My uncle is building, uh, Dave is building, my Yugno is building. Like, man, I'm just happy. And also to show my village to the world, it's a huge flex in which I don't take it for granted. So I was saying about, uh, oh, okay. I was talking about my uncle's story too. So, so people are uh, pulling at my uncle's residence without his permission, which is not a good thing, guys. He was really complaining. Like people are interfering with his privacy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, these are kind notice. Just in informers uh, prior when you are visiting our home, you know. We really like visitors and also visitors are a blessing. I do understand that and uh, our home is very kind, especially to visitors because you people support us. We are who we are because you people support us by liking our videos, sharing like Devi has a many, many, many friends around the world in which they support him out of youtube that's why like for me even i i don't feel even comfortable staying at my parents home you know yeah that's why i'm trying to come up with a huge huge building so that when you come here in our village you have a place to sleep you have a place to enjoy and just to relax and that's what life that matters a lot you know putting smile on other people's faces yeah guys, these are our neighbors here. It's so right now it's not that green because it's not raining anymore. <laughs> it's kinda a dry season here. But uh, you can tell it looks okay. Some cops right there. So this is my home where crazy things are happening right now. But uh 
maybe we should have a gatekeeper here guys for sure that being said if you know anybody who may may perform well as a gatekeeper please hit me up on instagram uh the same name as this youtube channel david jr i will really really appreciate we need somebody who should take care of our home for sure you know yeah i have an instagram page uh it's close to twenty thousand followers please write me there and also i have an email david jnr113 at gmail.com so yeah hit me there guys so these are home for the new subscribers this is where david comes from this is where i call home but a few months ago we were not staying here but go but by god's grace uh we're here today god's grace has been sufficient in which i'm forever grateful what or for what life is right now so welcome home sorry guys for this small hitch <laughs> okay this is our gate so welcome home this is my home this is how it looks like guys um right now it's not that green but it's green of course but it's not raining but you can tell the climate here it's favorable very favorable yeah these are our compound this is how it looks like this is my parents home i have to insist on that not my house guys huh eh? This is my parents' home, in which I always show you people as a source of motivation. And also, it is a huge inspiration. Like, you can turn from nothing to something, you know. These are our dogs here. <laughs> and also, we have another one right here, chilling. Yeah, so this is the bench that I was talking about. So these guys that I had crazy intentions about our home, I found him sitting here. You know? She was crazy. So this is where I call home for the new subscribers. It's it's just an ordinary home, but at the same time, it's beautiful, guys. You can tell. Yeah, God's grace has been sufficient in my family. So let me get to know what you think about this video, guys. I'm so confused. I'm kind of in a mixed reaction like uh, how are uh, the security of a home it's threatened but it is what it is it is what it is it's we to change this kind of situation and we have to be very very strict on uh, the people that we are inviting here this is the outside sink this is where we wash our clothes uh, manually physical hard work no use of machines here in the village <laughs> Yeah, one of our fun made it possible. It looks good. Yeah, the tiles. I love everything about this place. Yeah, and also uh, the environment. It's so good. So good. <coughs> Guys, advise me accordingly. You know, advise me accordingly. I need your help. I need your help. <coughs> that, hey, chill. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. So I need your help. Let, her, let me get in the comment section below and also okay let me leave this place here the dog is making some noise maybe i should go down there and sit <clears throat> this is where we get water from this is our borehole you know we have two boreholes so water here it's not a big issue it's not a problem and uh, these are fields, I mean, now I had, you know, it's so huge, it goes until the far end right there. Yeah, this is how it is. So most of the time, you can come here and even sleep under the tree here and think about life. <laughs> okay, guys, let me get to know what you think about this video, man. Kindly, guys, um, advise me accordingly on the comment section below and also you can... Write to me on my email, as I've said, and also I want to be leaving the email on my description box. And uh, from today, henceforth, please, if you're coming to our home, write to us. And we want to give you an okay if, you, if we accept your request or not, guys. In a good way, though, imagine 
receiving visitors day on a daily basis on a daily basis it's no joke and also you don't know people's intentions not all all people are okay or good you know imagine somebody coming maybe with illegal drugs and throw within the compound here and where and goes to the police and it's crazy imagine such incidences guys you know yeah i had to do this video just to inform you guys yesterday it was crazy 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 and uh, when you when you have bad intentions you never go a long way you know what goes around comes around i believe on that yeah right now i'm just chilling here i'm alone in this beautiful compound <laughs> at times it's crazy just staying alone here you see guys this is how it is yeah hey because, look at these guys it's because i've been passing uh across farms and also the river that's why these things have stick on my cloth here but it's all good from this beautiful home of ours i say thank you guys for always being here for always being supportive yeah we're starting construction guys we're starting construction for sure for sure for sure and for me i'm just hopeful everything wanna go as i expected and the mission has to be accomplished you know thank you i'll see you in my next one please advise me accordingly in the comment section below thank you i'll see you in my next one bye bye take care subscribe guys to the channel we're on the road to 100k subscribers i would really appreciate more amazing content is coming more of creativity yeah and you will enjoy for sure thank you bye bye take care